Yes! So, uh, here's Grand Junction, Motor Speedway. And, uh, right now I'm having a blast. I'm having the time of my life. Alright, so it's day number two at Grand Junction. We're gonna skip the warm up. We actually have two Grand Junction races. Just a shifter cart right next to me. This is, this is totally what I drive, you know. Weenie, weenie. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm hoping to get into shifter. Well, I'm not gonna race shifter, I'm gonna drift a shifter. It's gonna be real fun. Um, I'm excited, and um, see you guys in the next heat.
I went from seventh to technically fourth in the points, but we uh, we included all the drops, so I'm second in the points by one single point. Today we're coming to you from the shop for this triple R. <laughs> Last weekend at Grand Junction Motor Speedway, we had a little issue with the motor. The air filter wasn't on, and the throttle slide was out, and the fuel line was out, and the throttle cable wasn't connected. And uh, I walked over, and I didn't, didn't really know, and uh, I yanked the cord, and the RPMs just shot up, and we, uh, we, we shut the motor off as quick as we could. After we got it all well put together, it wouldn't start. We spent two hours trying to figure out why it wouldn't start, and eventually we went to Greg Welch at Ford Direction Motorsports, and he solved the mystery. So what happened was, there was a blue rag right where the air filter was, and when I yanked the starter cable, it, the rag just got sucked right into the intake and it didn't get any gas. But it, it popped a couple times, but it after that it just kind of shut down, it wouldn't start at all. So today's lesson was to make sure that everything is put back together and that you don't leave any rags in the intake before you start it. Now, it was a hard lesson and it wasted a lot of time, and so I'm hoping this will save you some troubles. This has been Relentless Racing Rules, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>